Okay. There's a reason that I'm shooting this video in a field, and there's a reason why I'm sat quite far away from you. There's also a reason why there's no script for this video. All of those reasons will become apparent. I remember when I first started learning on YouTube, like checking out different creators and all of these people with their fancy cameras and their fancy studios and just, you know, this polished look that made them seem like a different person altogether. And I did view them as like a superior <laughs> class of person or creator. It's interesting the effect that high production quality has as, as a viewer, because the person could be talking about complete and utter nonsense. And because their audio and their camera looks good, I kind of just lapped it up. Then I became a person who had pretty decent you know, camera quality and audio quality, and I would talk about stuff. That's what got me into my creator journey. And I never saw any success with that. But since I shifted my approach, I've experienced a lot more growth. And I know that a lot of people get intimidated by production value, and they don't know how to edit, or they don't know how to set up a camera, or what camera to buy, or what microphones to use, or where to put the microphone. And the truth is, all of that stuff is useful and it's important. But the fundamental thing that changed my approach to content creation and ultimately led me to growing a, an audience that actually cares about what I have to say and what I have to share was tapping into the resources that are within me. And by that, I mean tapping into my story and my knowledge and my experience. The first video that I made that really took off on this channel was called How Self-Improvement Ruined My Life. And that video was the most vulnerable video I'd ever made up until that point. And I was quite shocked with the reception that it got and the thousands of comments that flooded in about how people related to it and how people felt really positively impacted by the message that I had shared there. And if you look at that video, yeah, the camera quality and the audio, it's, it's good. But I don't think that's what sold it. I think that helped to sell it, but what really sold it was the person behind the camera and the story that I was sharing about my life. Because ultimately, as humans, when we, whenever we buy something, be it a product or a service off somebody we're buying the person that's selling it and the values that that person has or like if it's a company it's the values that that company has they're often values that we share the best way to sell something and to generate an audience or followers is to showcase the values that you have to showcase what's important to you and the whole sterile YouTuber in a studio, I'm not saying that that's bad because sometimes I'm in a studio setting and it's, it's all cool and it serves its purpose. But a lot of the time, I feel like the truth of a person is watered down by the obsession with scripting everything to a T. And it comes across because if you're reading a script and there's all of these hooks and psychological copy that you put into it in order to, you know, manipulate the viewer, and I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. I think it's important to do that tactfully. That's what I did at the beginning of this video, if you remember. But that can't be the end of it. You need to follow up with true value. And that's value that you have because you're a human who's had experiences and it's just a matter of figuring out the lessons that you've undergone in your own experience and then articulating that to people that maybe haven't yet gone through that experience. The game of content needs to start with you. It needs to start with the creator. It needs to start with the ideas, the experience and the knowledge. And if you don't have that figured out, 
you're probably going to find it hard to connect because people don't, at the end of the day, they don't connect with a crisp image and good audio. Yeah, that's important and it helps. I, I really think that people should learn how to improve their production quality, but don't do it at the cost of actually sharing value. And the value is in you. It's in what you have to share. It's in the services that you offer or the, you know, the solutions that you sell, be it through a product or otherwise. It would be helpful for you to look at the personal branding video that I made last week about this because it has all of the actual steps and the frameworks to build the business out. By the way, if you're enjoying this video so far, I'd invite you to press the like button if you fancy. I'd appreciate that and leave a comment too if you want to. And so to answer the question, why am I sat all the way back here? Why am I in a field? And why is this not scripted? It's because I'm just a guy in a field. I'm just, you know, enjoying the things I like to enjoy. A bit of peace and quiet in a field is nice. It's not scripted because I find that the most authentic version of myself comes when I'm just shooting from the hip. I had an idea for the video. I had a framework. I had an intention of what I wanted to articulate. But there's no script here. This could have been way more formulaic, but you would have heard it in my voice because it's just a different muscle. When you're reading from a script versus speaking from your heart or your experience, it comes across differently. And that's how I sort of see the setting as well. This is a real setting and I'm being real with you right now by sharing my knowledge and my experience over the last, you know, 10 years of being an artist and a creator. I could never have scripted all of what I just said. Some people would say that that's bad practice, but I believe we're kind of beyond the whole formulaic, sterile, copyrighted to the last T sort of videos where you leave being like, was that even a person? So if you want to connect with people, if you want to create and nurture a community, the best way to attract those people is by being you. Because that's the one guarantee that you have is that you're always going to be you. And yes, you will change. And some people will fall away as you change. And that's all right. No one's going to be here forever. You're not going to be here forever. I'm not going to be here forever. Your business, your career is always going to change as well. You don't just get, you know, to one place and stay there forever. They're all just milestones and stepping stones along our journey. And ultimately, if we can just keep tapping into that reservoir within ourselves and keep sharing that, then we're going to continue attracting the people that need what it is that we have to share or that benefit from what we have to share and it's going to vary and ultimately that's the foundation of any business is is the the community aspect and the ability to capture attention of people and then the rest of it in terms of generating income is just about finding the systems and the strategies that help you funnel that and convert that into different forms of value. So we have free value, we make free videos, you write content or you send a newsletter, and that's 90% of your work is just sharing, sharing your knowledge, sharing your gifts, inspiring and bringing that value to people's lives. And the other 10% is the actual products and services that are based upon all of that free stuff. A lot of people, they, they don't necessarily want to purchase anything from me or from other creators, and that's fine. But there are some people that are in a different situation at a different point in their journey, and they're the ones that actually might want to avail of a service to work alongside you, to be mentored by you, to you know, purchase the product that you have that solves the challenge that they're facing. So don't be so focused on 
being, you know, this person or that person, just be the person that you are. And so often we're afraid to be that person because we see other people and we think, oh, well, that's how they do it, so I got to be like them. And it's like, no, you don't. Like, that comes across as weird. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it, it's just weird. So just be yourself and allow that to attract the people that resonate with what you have to share and allow that to inform your business and your content strategy. So that's it for this video. To get more insights from me, I have a free newsletter community. You can sign up to it below. If you want my strategy for getting more views on your videos with some tactics that I use, there's a free guide down there uh, as well. It's what I've used to kind of go from getting 10 views to you know, a few hundred thousand views every now and again. If you're interested in mentorship as well, I offer that to help entrepreneurs and creators create their business back end and to dial in their unique style and the flavor that they have to give the world. Other than that, I'll catch you next time.